Hello dear children. Today I, Uttama Purohit, is going to teach you mathematics subject and we are going to learn a new concept. Would you like to know what is that new concept? Let me tell you. We are going to learn patterns. Yes children. So are you all excited and happy to learn a new concept? First of all, let me tell you, this video has three parts. In part 1, we will be having introduction through a PPT. In part 2, we are going to learn few more patterns on the board. And in part 3, we are going to do one activity in Little Thinker Mathematics. So let's start today's learning. Children, today we are going to learn the concept of patterns. Children, you must have observed patterns on different objects. For example, your father's shirt or your mama's sari or dress or in garland. Right? So, you can see patterns on different objects and we are going to learn and understand what is pattern. Let's have a look at this beautiful necklace. Yes, children. Now, can you find few shapes inside? Yes. Circle, square. Now, again circle, square. Circle, square and lastly, circle. Right? So, if you see, these shapes are arranged in particular manner. Right? Every time after circle, square comes and again circle comes. Right? These are called patterns. So, patterns are created when particular figure, shapes or objects are arranged in a particular order and repeated over and over again. For example, if you see here, the pattern is repeated again and again. Like circle and square, this is a pattern, right? Again circle and square comes and again circle and square comes. So, this is these are called patterns. Let's move on to the next slide. And what can you see on this slide? Yes, pencil and eraser, right? Now, let's see how pencil and eraser are arranged. Now, if you can see, first is pencil, then eraser, then again pencil and then eraser. Now, what will come after eraser? Yes, pencil and after pencil, eraser. What do you wear in summer season? Yes, cap and sunglasses. Here, we have a pattern of cap and sunglasses. So, cap and sunglasses. Then again cap and sunglasses. Now tell me after sunglasses, what will come? Tell me fast. Yes, you are right. Cap will come. And then again sunglass. Let's have a look at the next slide. And here we have vegetables. And here, first of all, I can see capsicum, carrot and tomato. So, these three vegetables, we are going to arrange in the same order. So, let's start with this pattern. So, again, first will come capsicum, then carrot and then tomato. Now, you are going to answer what will come first. Capsicum, then red and then tomato. And again last, capsicum, carrot and tomato. So this was a pattern of vegetables. Now let's make pattern with fruits. Now here I have one apple and two bananas. And I am going to arrange apple and bananas in a particular order. So let's start. So one apple, two bananas. 
Now, after bananas, what will come? Apple. Very good. And how many bananas will come? Two bananas. And after bananas, what will come? Apple. And lastly, two bananas. Now, let's make pattern with flowers. I have two beautiful flowers. You can see on the slide, right? And one leaf. Now children, I am going to sequence them. I am going to arrange them in the particular order. So first we will put two flowers and one leaf. Then again I am going to put two flowers and one leaf. Now what will come after leaf? Two flowers. Very good. And after two flowers, one leaf will come. I hope children you have understood what is pattern. Yes, now here we are going to make patterns with different colors. Okay, so here I have blue color star, then red heart, then pink heart and again red heart will come. So this is going to be our sequence. What is sequence? Uh, let's repeat. Blue star, red heart pink heart and again red heart. Yes, now we are going to complete the same sequence, same pattern again and we are going to arrange it in the same order. Okay, so what will come after this? that second red heart? Guess, guess, guess. Blue star, right? And after blue star, what will come? Red heart. After red heart? pink heart and after pink heart once again we are going to keep one red heart so this way we have completed patterns with colors now again i am going to show you one more pattern with colors now let's look at this slide okay here i have yellow diamond then green triangle and purple diamond. So this is going to be our sequence and we are going to arrange it again and again. Okay. So what will come after purple diamond? Yes, yellow diamond. And after yellow diamond, tell me children what should come? Green triangle. After green triangle, what will come? Purple diamond. Very good. And after purple diamond, what is going to come? Yellow diamond. And tell me after yellow diamond, what will come? Purple, purple diamond? No. Purple triangle? No. But green triangle. And after green triangle, last will come again purple diamond. I hope children you must have understood the concept of patterns. You can make patterns using different objects. For example, spoon and plate or spoon and fork. Or you can even make patterns with the help of your building blocks. Or the way I have shown, you can make patterns with fruits and vegetables. So, make different patterns and use different different objects and while making patterns, I am sure you will have lots of fun.